This year's runoff expected to be higher than we've seen in the last several years. Search and rescue teams are getting ready for water rescues. Yes, they are. Actions like this one can make their jobs all the more risky as well, right? New special Shelby Lofton join us live now with their warning. Shelby. Mike and Dini, that is right. Utah County Search and Rescue is used to responding to a lot of open water calls out here on Utah Lake, but this year they're expecting more swift water rescues in rivers and streams, even streets with this year's runoff to be higher than expected. So we're already thinking about it. With this year's expected runoff, search and rescue teams across Utah. So it's a very important when you're on the water. Are on standby. We'll start seeing things pick up in April. The rushing waters have come a bit earlier than expected. Looks like it's only on a road. Utah County Search and Rescue Team member Steve Gorell says there's risk that comes with this kind of behavior. If he lets go or falls down, it looks like he's going to go downstream and go into a culvert or something that's very dangerous. He says playing in rushing flood waters isn't like swimming in open water. You can see how dark and muddy that water is. That's how dangerous that is. So it's not just clear, clean water. It could be full of debris. Logs coming down because of a flash flood or sticks or other debris that hits you and knocks you over and then that's very hard to get out from. He knows firsthand how difficult the rescues can be. So if someone's out in the river and they're just stranded, well, we can throw this out to them and have them hold on to it. Fast flowing waters at Gunlock Reservoir are exciting to see, but keep a distance. Burrell says if you fall in, you need to start looking for an exit route. He says these waters can outpace anyone. So if it's flowing fast enough, it could sweep you right off your feet. He advises people to be aware of the forecast and stay away from areas where there's a chance for flash flooding. So if there's a chance, you don't want to be caught up in the chance. And that video you saw of the teenager surfing in the floodwaters was taken down in Hurricane. I talked to the police department tonight about it. They said that he was surfing on a closed road and they immediately got that child out of it. They said they don't want to risk anything tragic happening on their watch. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, that water is so powerful, and you're right. You don't want to take any risks. All right, Shelby, thank you.